Hello to you, my name is uh, Albert Schering. I work for Biocrop Science and I'm based in uh, Germany. In uh, Germany, I'm based in uh, Monheim, I'm Rhein, and I'm responsible for the global fungicide uh, portfolio in vegetables and potatoes. And today we are here at the uh, World Potato Congress in uh, Edinburgh and uh, sharing and looking forward to uh, share some information uh, with you on potatoes. Uh, Biocrop Science decided to act as the diamond sponsor of the World Potato Congress. Um, we have done so because we have uh, a big pipeline of solutions, of new solutions bringing for the potato growers around the globe. And we thought the World Potato Congress is the right platform to share this information and this knowledge with key growers around the world. Um, so we are very pleased to be here. Um, actually, we have brought in our local crop teams, our local potato crop teams from around the world, uh, from, from China, it is uh, from South Africa, it's from Mexico, it's from European countries, Russia, Ukraine, and last but not least, also Canada. By crop science, we've decided to focus on the potato crop as uh, part of our overall strategy to focus on fruit and veg. And if you now focus on the potatoes, then we have seen that in the potato market there are a lot of issues that are popping up that need new solutions. One of them recently is about uh, late blight and for late blight we have launched a new material out in the market uh, which is about to be becoming market leader now around the world. Uh, recently this year in the US we have launched Luna, it's a new uh, solution for early blight uh, control. And more recently, I would say it's happening just two months ago in Canada, we have launched Imesto. It's a new product uh, for controlling uh, soil diseases. It's Rhizotonia helminthosporium. And uh, later on, uh, my colleague uh, David Kickert, crop manager in Canada, will explain you more about it. Um, these are some exciting stuff we are bringing to the market. And we have used the World Potato Congress to share the latest uh, innovation with the key potato growers around the world. This is what is happening today. If you look towards the, the future, Biocrop Science is investing uh, research money to bring new solutions to the market to control the major pests that are developing. Uh, one of them is about the uh, nematodes. Uh, it's a key focus, a key focus for Biocrop Science to bring new technology in the market to control uh, nematodes. And the other one is in the area of sucking insects, so the aphids and the psyllids. The, the potato growers might uh, expect more solutions to come to the market. I would say in R&D, um, Biocrop Science by history has a very rich history in having a very solid uh, R&D process in place. Having the facilities in France and in Germany, we invest a considerable amount of uh, research uh, dollars in the area of potatoes. If we position ourselves compared to other uh, companies in this area, then we believe that Biocrop Science is one of the innovators in the industry and we have a track record in bringing new modes of actions uh, to the market. I would say, is there a change? And there is about a change for Biocrop Science. Uh, there is a, the, the, I would say the change is very much associated to the modern requirements of the market and it's about sustainable production. So what we are doing is we really to put emphasis on new chemistry that fits in modern integrated pest management approaches. So the modern chemistry that we're bringing out, like the Movento, uh, which has been launched a couple of years ago, this is an example of top performing chemistry that fits very well with the IPM uh, principles, meaning low dose rates, long lasting activity, overall protection of the crop and a perfect fit with the IPM principles, uh, that means complete compatibility with the beneficials. That's one angle. The other angle that is now developing is about the green products. Um, we put a lot of energy in the development of biological products and we believe that with scientific research, with really fundamental and good scientific research, we will be able also to bring biological solutions to the marketplace and to serve the demands of the farmers. It is uh, a local concept of biocrop science to act and to interact with all the stakeholders of the value chain. Uh, our primary target is the grower and the grower is in the, 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 our primary customer. But what we are looking for is also to serve the produce that's coming from the farm and is going through the value chain to the consumer. So what we're doing, we are acting and working closely together with the packers of the potatoes in the table potato area. We also work together with processors that process the potatoes in crisp and in french fries. 
By doing so, this is a project under the name of Food Chain Management. Uh, we have food chain management around the globe. We have installed a network, a global network of specialists that are aware of the needs of the customers in the value chain. And what we are aiming for is to connect the people in the value chain to each other to build a very strong value chain to address the demands of the customers. In that respect, food value chain is around the world, it is available and they are acting very closely together with the crop managers in the country like David Kickert uh, in Canada. So as an example and the commitment of BioCropScience to the potato industry, um, today we are here at the World Potato Congress and if you look to the motto of the World Potato Congress, it's about sustainability, it's about innovation to bring new novel solutions to the market. BioCropScience is committed to a sustainable production of potatoes around the globe. To make it happening, we are offering a service to customers to measure the level of sustainability on the farm and in the value chain. Um, we do this in cooperation with key stakeholders in the value chain. The whole concept is called the Buyer Sustainability Radar, where we measure different matrix and transfer them into uh, grids to illustrate what farmers can do to improve their sustainability. Currently we have an, a bunch of pilots around the globe uh, to take the two extremes. There's one successful pilot in Chile which is organized in cooperation with uh, PepsiCo where we really we start to measure the inputs on the farm. Uh, this is around the three sustainability pillars. It's about the environment, it's about the social responsibility and it's about the economic uh, uh, responsibility. This is a project in Chile. This is about 7,000 hectares of potatoes which are handled in that way. Another example, then we go to India. In India, farming is completely different from Chile, where you have in Chile production with nine producers mastering 7,000 hectares of potatoes. In India, we work on 7,000 hectares of potatoes with around 13,000 farmers. What we aim to do over there is to support the farmers over there also in sustainability principles and to make transparent on what they are doing on the farm and create this transparency to the processes of the potatoes. We have been doing so by measuring and also by providing the farmers a passport. A passport on healthy potatoes which they can hand over to the processor to, to tell them and say these are my potatoes, they were treated in that way and if you want to have more background information look into the passport. This is the identity of healthy potatoes. Bayer is not involved in uh, genetic uh, um, modified uh, potatoes. Uh, we believe this is uh, an an area where um, there is still a long path to go. Uh, we believe there is uh, also on the acceptance, on the acceptability of uh, a GO in, a GMO in potatoes. So BioCrops is not investing in this area. Although in potential, if you look to the uh, potential, what the technology could bring to potato farming in the future, we believe there is potential. But as BioCrops says, we have put our priorities in the broad acre crops, uh, out of which for Canada is canola. Uh, with the Infigor uh, line, uh, which is very much based on the GMO technology. The other one is uh, it's rice, it's cotton, it's soy and it's wheat.